world, the Gothia Cup. And we'll talk about how the Gothia Cup and that youth tournament that recently took place in China connects to the story that's sitting here in studio with me. Marina Dalanga, as well as Tumena Lebaka, are one of those stories that we just love to tell on Sport at 10. So Marina, I'm going to let you tell me that story. Take me to a single mom, Haluk style, and you deciding that you're going to start a football club because of drugs in your community. Okay, it started when drugs came knocking on my door. Your own? My own door. I am affected by drugs. Uh -huh. So there was no extra mural activities in Galakstal. So I started a little football club. And my aim was never to land in China. I just started to keep boys away, you know, from the streets. What was happening at your door that gave you that need to go start a team? My son got addicted to drugs when he was 16. Uh-huh. Yes. And how do you go from, my son is addicted, to let me start a football team? Um, the thing is, I have another little boy that plays for Jomo Cosmos. Uh -huh. And I thought to myself, you know what? What do I do now? Do I lay down and die? Or do I get out of the box, burn the box, and change my own destiny? Mm. So I went, I met up with a drug-free world. They do a whole lot of research and a whole lot of education around the country. Mm. In, um, the program is called Truth About Drugs because there's the dealer's truth and there's the truth about mm. drugs. So um, I got to them, they educated me about this devil that I don't know because I think the devil that you don't know is the one that's going to kill you. Mm. But the one you know is the one that you can kill. Mm. That's why I, st I started a, a little football club. Because I wanted to try and keep my little boys away from drugs. And that's what's happened in the community. Are you specifically targeting boys that are on drugs to come to your football club or just to keep them away from it? No, no. I am on the prevention side. Mm. I say, if my kids don't buy, the market must die. So the ones that are on drugs already, those ones, unfortunately, you know, I don't know how to assist, but the ones that's coming up must know the truth so that they don't start in the first place. Dumelo is here with you. You've brought him in. Dumelo, you're wearing the T-shirt. You're talking about the whole drugs, the message. no Marina. How has she impacted your life with her football club? Um, okay, my name is Marina, I'm an auntie, oh. as always. So, I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little So, it's nearby. At that time, I had nowhere to go. I had a little bit of So, I was going to desperate to go to the and meet different people and start over because mm. there were some problems at home. Mm. So I went to Helix Tal, Nhambano, Ankeloami. So Sabonali team, but the Carlton United, mm. then we joined. That's how it started. That's how I met Anne Marina. Because I heard you guys talking before we went on air, and the words, I changed his life and I saved his life, came up. How? Was he really on a path to that devil you're speaking about? No. No, he's got all the reasons to be, but he wasn't. Uh. I mean, he stays in a shack in Langaville. He doesn't have what most of the kids don't even appreciate, but he's drugs free. Mm. So, and staying in the program, staying in the team, does that help? It does help. How? Uh, it's because it's I spend it on soccer. So I'm about busy in Poland and to be busy with other things like uh. drugs and stuff. Like, a lot of as born and listen to Zion Zagala. So, I didn't want to fall to that part. Mm. So, I chose the part of Ebola. Oh, that's so powerful, man. And your team has gone from strength to strength. Yes, in five years. Let's say five years. From Halaksta to China, on our way to Barcelona. Huh? Yes. Oh, you must be a millionaire then. You must be, you must be... Yes, the, my heart is rich. You must be the, 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 the Patrice Mutsepe <laughs> of, you know, 
drug prevention football. Because to take a football team to the Gothia Cup, that is hugely expensive. I mean, how are you able to take your team out of a little community all the way to such a huge international tournament? Okay, what happens is because most of my children in Gelug style is underprivileged mm. and there is no sponsorship. Mm. I get children from various schools in Ekurlene and then we travel. But my dream is to travel with my boys, my underprivileged, talented boys. Mm. So, but at the moment, parents are funding our trip. Mm. So it's fully funded by parents and um, I've got a, you know, this guy is awesome. He's, he's just always there volunteering, never asking for, you know, for money, even for petrol. Cecil Morris, he's my right hand man. Mm. And we went to China with boys from Ashton College, um, from the Easterns High School League. Mm. So, you know, Cecil is just a phenomenal person. He looks after the boys at Joma Cosmos as well where my boy is playing, yeah. you know, it's just the daddy. So, Dumel, do you guys win? How's the team doing? <clears throat> uh, the team is doing pretty good. Now we league in the Asu number one, but it's a corner of top four. Uh. Yes. And when you look across to Auntie Marina, what do you think when you see this woman sitting next to you? I think she's a powerful woman. We are corner with it. So she doesn't think only for herself, but for the whole community of Relic Star and abroad. Mm. Yes. And the boys, when you sit around and talk, they all feel the same way? They all feel the same way. They are happy with Aunt Marina as I am happy with her. Mm. Yes. You're everybody's mom there, Auntie Marina. Ask him what does champs do? Who's champs and what does he do? No, no. Champs. Ask him, what does a champ, oh, a, a champion, champion do? do. Yeah. Okay, what does a champion do? Champs don't do drugs. They make Big Mama happy. Oh. Is that what we call it? Yes, Big, Big Mama. Mama. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Big Mama, I love it. Now, I'm also hearing a rumor that there may be something called the Junior Drug Free World Cup coming to South Africa. Yes. In 2020? Yes. What is that? And how are you going to be involved? How are we going to make it even more of a success? Okay, I will be chairing that project. Mm -hmm. It's my brainchild. Mm -hmm. With a drug-free world um, Africa, linked to a drug-free world USA, mm -hmm. that will be our main sponsor. My heart, you know, <sighs> you know, not being able to take my children from Halakstal. Mm -hmm the underprivileged, talented boys from Khalakzal and Zakani to China. I said to myself, you know what? I must bring those boys to South Africa. Bring the world here. Yes, where my kids are. Mm. So a drug-free world is assisting me in that regard. We are planning it. Safa has already okayed it. Um, Safa Ekurleni, our regional um, office, it's already okayed. Um, I am the deputy chair lady at Brakpan Local Football Association. I just want to say hi to them. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> shout out. Why not? Just shout out. Shout out. Okay, big brother. Yes. Um, with them, you know, being, at the, the, being the front runners, uh, the BLFA, in this World Cup coming up. Uh. Yes. We're planning a huge, huge tournament and it's coming. Dumel, yes, 2020 is not far away. You yes. could be part of the drug-free World Cup right here in South Africa, the junior one. Yeah. Looking forward to it? Definitely looking forward to it. And then what, Ipola, is it something you want to take seriously? Is it something you want to take on? How old are you now? I'm 20. Already 20? Yes. But do you still see yourself turning professional? Do you think you can get there? Uh, I don't think so because I have something else that I do, uh. which in corner, I'm more serious to it, which is music. So. It's on both sides. Uh. It's either I take this one or I take that one. Ah, but the still, loving the story. Do Melo, thank you for being with us here. Big Mama, thank you for telling that story and hopefully we can inspire more South Africans to do what you're doing because drugs is a scourge in yes. South Africa and we really need more football teams like yours to give our kids other options other than to do the wrong thing. Thank you. Thank you so much.